What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 5. We know Part 2 returned tonight, so let's just jump right on into it and I'll have some teases related to Episode 6 for you guys. So Episode 5 starts with President Collins giving a press conference about the tragedies happening at the White House, specifically the ones that happened last night at the Halloween party. He says while this is the White House, it's also his family's home. Collins becomes distracted by vo voices and ghostly appearances of his dead son Joe Joseph saying daddy no repeatedly Collins storms out of the room after it overwhelms him it just becomes a little bit too much to handle Charlotte goes to a room and discusses with Price how Collins doesn't know about their little project still that they've been working on Charlotte asks Price what he's found and says the chandelier from last night was tampered with it didn't just fall on its own wow you don't say he suggests exposing some of the truth to the media but charlotte shoots it down in favor of protecting her family price shows her some footage of henry's ghost appearing and disappearing at the party from last night but she just brushes it off and tells him to just find the killer he's supposed to be finding collins encounters grant and henry while wandering the white house and he asks henry where his doll is and henry says he's resting because he's sick obviously he's talking about chucky who he again calls joseph his deceased brother he asks henry if he sees joseph not the doll but his brother charlotte interrupts the conversation between collins and henry before he can give his answer telling henry it's time to go to school and suggests to collins that he gets some rest devin and lexley and jake are back at their motel or whatever place they are staying talking about why chucky could be at the white house jake and devin stress that they need to get back into the white house and lexley says she'll make things right with grant since he's very into her chucky is shown in bed resting a maid comes in saying she isn't paid enough for this shit she drinks some water from a cup she has and then begins cleaning up the room while she's doing that chucky puts bleach into her cup and she begins to cough up blood when she takes another sip gags for her breath or gags for breath and then chucky stands over her watching her die but he says ah what's the point because her death isn't causing any thrills for him he's very disappointed in the lack of excitement that her death brings and is upset that he has to now clean this mess up devin and jake go over a plan related to finding underground white house tunnels so they can sneak back in but devin says it's a bad idea but he loves when jake comes up with creative solutions devin realizes something and suggests he and jake need to go on the dark web while they keep looking for a way to beat chucky the dark web exploration seems to lead to them tracking down the witch doctor which seemed very random and then they tr they drive to georgia to go confront said witch doctor Henry visits Chucky while he's resting, saying he wants to make him feel better. Offers, or he offers to use his favorite blankie, but Henry notices blood on the walls when he goes to get said blankie and runs out screaming for mommy and daddy. Chucky makes a joke saying it must have been his face that caused Henry to run out. Charlotte tells Henry she'll go check it out, so she makes her way into the bedroom, finds Henry's drawings, observes them for a bit, walks around the room some more. Chucky is pretending to be asleep. Charlotte makes her way to the closet where the maid's dead body is, but she only finds the Ghost of 1600 book and then leaves the room. Now, while she was doing that, Chucky was behind her ready to kill, but he apparently was too weak to get it up, as he states. There's an obvious erectile dysfunction joke there, too. Later that night, Grant is ignoring text from Lexi in his bedroom, and Charlotte comes in to talk to him about it. He says he thinks it's over because Lexi wasn't into him, really. She, conf she comforts him, saying a relationship requires trust, and Lexi broke his, and the right person will see who he is outside of his presidential connections. The next day, a Secret Service member advises Grant to be a big boy and just talk to Lexi while he's going to school, rather than ignoring her text. Grant walks over to Lexi, who apologizes and says she's been trying to get a hold of him. Lexi says he knows she knows what it's like to be the child of a politician and to go through some serious shit like losing someone you love before asking if they can start over he offers a handshake and says lexi is the first person he's liked so much ever and she likes grant too is what she says lexi starts to tell grant about chucky but homeroom is starting so they make plans for later and kiss goodbye devin and jake are at the witch doctor office he asks why they're here and devin shows a picture of chucky asking if they know who this is the witch doctor refuses to tell them anything at first but tells them chucky is dying permanently since his soul is tainted with christian magic due to a botched exorcism Collins is in his office looking at a picture of his two sons before noticing blood on the carpet. He gets up from his desk to go look. He dips his hand in the blood while it spreads and, cow and cowers in fear before realizing the blood was never there. 
Collins goes to his bedroom and to find Charlotte and asks why she is home. He tells her things haven't been okay for some time. He tells her about Henry's obsession with Ghost and Joseph. Charlotte thinks Teddy's death is bringing up unresolved feelings for Henry. Collins tells Charlotte she believes Henry, uh, or he believes Henry because she saw or he saw Joseph's ghost too. He says he didn't tell her because he didn't he wasn't sure about it at first but now he is and goes on about how joseph was watching him at the press conference from earlier charlotte says if, she, if he needs to meet with dr schneider again to cope with law she can arrange it because she can't be the only one keeping this family together chucky is shown watching doll horror movies he gets mad at dolls like brahms the dead silence doll and megan he tells megan to f off and then stumbles onto an update on tiffany's time behind bars Devin and Jake are driving home, talking about things they want to do together. Jake and Devin stop at a motel for the night and make out. The next day, they pack up and head out to keep driving. Jake suggests they go on a cross-country trip once everything with Chucky is over. Devin wants to run off now, though, because he's scared and doesn't want to lose Jake. Jake tells Devin they cannot run off because they are final girls. Charlotte tells Price she needs to come clean because he, her loved ones are rambling on about ghosts. He, does, he tells her he doesn't think there's a killer but a supernatural force in the white house charlotte laughs until she notices a ghost trapped in the breeze of the american flag back at tiffany's cell she gets a phone call from chucky she just basically tells him to go out in a blaze of glory and that's what he plans to do the episode concludes with collins walking around the white house he's distracted again by joseph's voice so he investigates like a fool joseph's ultimate final distraction costs him his life as chucky kills him bashing a, va a vase over his head and he gouges his eyes out starts tearing at his face before telling him that he's got it from here and the president is no longer necessary chucky gains access to nuclear codes and laughs to end the episode now the teaser for episode six one you're going to see devin sawa once again i think he returns next week if not next week you're going to see him one more time after that too he plays three different three different roles chucky's going to blow something up next week and something very big is going to happen to charles's body aka chucky Something very big is going to happen to Chucky next week to conclude episode six. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy episode five of Chucky season three? Why or why not? I will say that I found it enjoyable. Although when it's all said and done, I will review it because I found some of the dialogue bits to be quite disgusting, particularly the Jamie Lee Curtis one being ultimately cringe. But again, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. So let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next week.